what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Power Rangers Legacy Hiya! Wars! And today we're looking at the legendary Thunder Megazord. Ooh. The second sword of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Pretty cool. So we're gonna take this uh, bad boy for a spin. Yep. And uh, maybe talk a little bit about Power Rangers, but also uh, we're gonna show you what the sword can do and why. Awesome. It's a legendary, so make sure you guys mash that like button and tell us again in the comments what your favorite Power Ranger sword is and why. It's time to show this fool the power of thunder! It's a Jason line. Yeah! <laughs> I was actually looking oh, up so cool lines for the thunder swords. Yeah. They don't really have it. Jason did like two, let's show him the power of thunder, mm -hmm. and you know... Everybody just kind of used, we need Thunder Zord power now. So, I mean, that, that was it. Yeah, I, I feel like this, uh, well, the first one is the video you did before, and I wasn't there for. The OG uh, Megazord? Yeah, yeah, that I was familiar with. But this one kind of looks like, does it, is it supposed to look like a samurai kind of like that? Or? Yes, he is from the show Die Ranger in Japan, which came after Zhu Ranger, which was the Mighty Morphin season. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's kind of like a, a thunder, like, deity protector or something. Like that. Yeah. And uh, interesting to note that the Lion Zord that is Zax in this uh, yeah. universe is actually from the Green Ranger and Dire Ranger. Yeah, that's one of the first things I noticed because you said, you know, the Green Ranger wasn't part of that Zord. Well, of course, he was the, I believe he was the White Tiger. He was Ranger. the Green Ranger at this point. Oh, okay, he was the Green Ranger at that point. But then the first thing I noticed about this Zord, I'm like, but there's green on the Zord. <laughs> yeah. There's green. So then we were, uh, you know, just like looking some stuff up and it's like, Oh yeah, the so long, Goldar. The Sentai version of this show actually had no Black Ranger, yep. but it did have a Green Ranger. That's because in Super Sentai they alternate colors like every season. Like sometimes oh, it'll be if there's a Green Ranger, usually there's uh, will be a Black Ranger the next season. They'll, so they'll they switch. don't always have the same colors every right. season in Sentai. That's cool. Right. So uh, we're messing around with the different Megas. You guys saw a lot of really cool ones yesterday. I really like the the Rage ability. Uh, previously, and also the uh, the one where you can kind of inflict damage over time is a lot of fun. So, as mentioned yesterday, there is no assist characters. This is a straight-up Megazord battle game that only happens for a limited time, which is, a you know, a little bit of a bummer, but again, you go into preview, you can play to your heart's content, Yeah. and uh, I think there's a way to do direct matches as well with Megazords with friends. Yeah. But cool. it is really cool. Yeah, I mean, like, this is something I think I remember us both mentioning for months about how cool oh, yeah. it would be to have Zords Megazords, fight. yep. Megazords, and here it is, and that's cool. I just, I mean, that's so cool that uh, Goldar can actually fight these guys, too, and, and be his bigger form of himself, you know? Well, I mean, you wouldn't just want the Megazords to fight. One of the yeah. cool things about Power Rangers, especially, you know, the games where you could get into Megazord battles, you would fight, you know, Rita or Lord Zed's monsters, like, grown up in a giant Megazord. Yeah. So that, that was the whole appeal of the show, you know, when things get too crazy on the ground and the monster grows, you gotta take, uh, you know, them down with a Megazord. Yeah, definitely. And as I mentioned yesterday, the Thunder Megazord is kind of like, it's a cool Megazord. I don't agree that it should be a legendary. I think the OG one the, should have been legendary. The original one, yeah. That's the one I know. So this one was the one with season two, right? This or was, uh, yeah, Lord Zed couldn't destroy the, the dinosaurs because they were so powerful and kind of alive. Oh, So okay. they basically sent them back into the earth, which really wouldn't have harmed them. But for little kids, when you saw the Zords, you know, being cast into the earth, because it was a special, it was a one yeah. hour special. Lord Zed came in, and he did not look like a kid show villain. Like, he came in for Fox Kids <laughs> yeah. Primetime Special. Oh my gosh. He got rid of the Dino Zords, which basically, later as an adult, I learned, they just played back or rewound the footage where the dinosaurs yeah. originally came out of the ground in, in Jew Ranger. So then, for the American version, when it was time to get rid of the Zords and introduce the Thunder Megazords, they just rewound the footage and had the Zords go back under the ground because they didn't really get destroyed. Right, yeah, so, and then you were telling me that Tommy's sword, he had to put to sleep with his little... Jason thing. ordered it, yeah. Oh, okay. Jason told Tommy, he was like, you gotta get rid of Dragon Sword, and Tommy's like, I won't let Zed get my sword too. So they just used oh, stock footage okay. of Dragon Sword going back underneath the ocean, like all Godzilla-like. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, basically, the Green Ranger had his own sword at this yep. time. And mm-hmm. then there was this, uh, yeah, the Thunder Megazord for all the other Rangers. The Thunder Megazord was the only Zord that was on the battlefield for a very long time until the White Ranger came right before uh, Jason, Trini, and Zack left the show for the Peace Conference. <laughs> yeah, so a little time oh, yeah. for the first, for the first uh, Megazord. I feel sad. What? We didn't get to see enough for the first Megazord. Like, only one season of them? Or well, like 90 OG. episodes. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that was a long time. Never mind. And you have to remember that Drew Ranger, besides the Mighty Morphin cast, like the actual Sentai like suit actors yes. doing new footage for the American Saban show, they also did new Megazord battles. Uh, so, I mean, wow. they stretched it out for a long time. Wow. What they really should have done is use the Die Ranger costumes. Oh, like for new powers along right. with new Zords, but definitely, yeah, that would have. It made became more a sense. brand. It became like iconic. So for the next season, the the Rangers, you could introduce new Zords, but they should have introduced new powers as yeah, well. Yeah, I feel like they. I mean, it was the first Power Rangers team ever, so I feel like they were just figuring out what to do with Power Rangers, you know. But of course, they could have just done what Sentai does, which is switch the costumes every single that uh, year. I probably wouldn't have had a problem with Rocky replacing uh, Jason's like if he had other been suit. A different, yeah. If he had been a different, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the next season, of because Sentai. for three seasons they used the same costume, and they did. I believe it was like two or three different Sentai shows they used yeah. the swords from. So. Yeah, I don't know. Some part of me feels like maybe they thought like the American audience wouldn't get you like was takes longer. They thought to, we were dumb. And they thought for we the most part, get we, we kind to, of are. It, the change. Maybe yeah. they thought we wouldn't be able to handle it. Like, oh no, they're changing costumes. It's another show. And also, yeah. they would mention <laughs> time and time again that the uh, Thunder Megazord was more powerful than the Dino Megazord. Oh, but yet it goes back to the episode Mutiny where Lord Zed put the Zords back under the Earth and Zordon had to combine the Dino uh, spirit with the Thunder Megazord oh. to create the Thunder Megazord. But yet, Lord Zed and Rita's brother-in-law is able to destroy the Thunder Megazords, even Tommy's White Tiger Zord, with no problems at the start of the third season. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's something that you always tell me about, the difference between Sentai and Power Rangers is Sentai, they can always do team-ups because all the Power Rangers are, like, kind of equally powerful. They all have massive powers. Whereas in the American show with Power Rangers, they always make the new season the most powerful, kind of making the last season obsolete, so there's Mm -hmm. no reason for team-ups. So that's what I love about Sentai is that they always keep everyone relevant. You can always, like, bring those people in for team-ups all the time, so. As long as they don't get too old, but usually, yeah. I mean, they replace the suit actors anyway. Yeah. And they just teach them the choreography of how to do the previous moves, and yeah, boom. you just watch how the people get yep. them. Yeah, it makes You just sense. have to get the same body type and, uh, you know, yeah, teach you them the choreography. Yeah, you don't have to take your helmet off. Nope. And it's not too expensive to get somebody to do ADR for the, you know, old rangers. And a yeah. lot of them actually came back to do the voices, but... Um, Thunder Megazord, you know, it's kind of cool. I like that laser blast from its stomach, and that move right there is his finisher. He had a couple finishers. He threw a tornado at people, and he would also have lightning strike his sword, and he would turn the hilt and then strike you like a samurai. Mm. But this actually kind of started a a theme of different samurai zords that you would see in Super Sentai. Yeah. So, I mean, the Thunder Megazord was from Die Ranger, and then the next show that the alien rangers used, which were ninjas, they called them the alien rangers, they used what we called the Shogun Megazords and stuff like that. The Ninja Megazords was not from Die Ranger. It was a completely different show. Oh, right. But okay. So then again, so yeah, you had three Sentai series made up the first three seasons of Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if the original Zord had to be replaced by any Zord, it would have to be a samurai. I mean, mm-hmm. it's cool. But I have to say the original Zord was the one that I always remember, and I think it's probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. So... Yep. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh! But um, yeah, you're doing really well in the gameplay too. I mean, well, it's like this is like watching. traditional Rock'em Sock'em robots. Yeah, it's really it is fun. like that. It is like Rock'em Sock'em robots, exactly. <gasps> Go down, Goldar. Goldar. Now I would love to see uh, the Cyclops from Mighty Morphin Season One, which was Rita's like uh, trump card. 
in the uh, Super Sentai series, or Bandora was her name. Yeah. And it was an awesome, like, evil Megazord that it was actually pretty hard to beat. In the Super Nintendo game, it had two forms. One, it was all silver, and then you would beat it up and it would turn gold, and it would get, like, two blades on its arms. Yeah. And that was actually a really tough Megazord battle. And I don't know if in Sentai, if the Megazord was destroyed or not in Jew Ranger. Right. But, um, yeah. I know that that was actually a pretty intense fight. Oh, that's and cool. You're like, I want Dragon Zord. Power. Yeah. I want Dragon Zord. Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw a little bit. Or I saw a picture of Dragon Zord earlier in this. Like, I thought I saw a little teaser for it in the game or something. Nope, there's no teaser for it in oh, the game. Oh, okay, then I guess I saw wrong. Nope, I the Zords that are in this is Mighty Morphin. There are two Zords Thunder Mega Zord, Mighty Morphin, Dino Zord. Um, there's a Wild Force Zord, and then Goldar. So there's oh, four characters okay. at launch. They're going to add more Mega Zords as we go on, um, but I really want to see the Dragon Zord and. I know that Enway is going to make careful detail with it and pay attention to, you know, doing their homework and stuff. Yeah. So I want to see his uh, chest light up when he shoots the missiles. <laughs> I want to hear his, like, Godzilla roar and all that other stuff. But anyway, guys, that does it for the Thunder Megazord. I hope you guys enjoyed Yay. it. Tomorrow we'll come back with another Megazord episode. Until then, God bless, happy gaming. Check out the OG Megazord in the uh, description, and we'll see you later. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.